Welcome back to Cud Buzz with me and Galen. Hello. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> um, all right. We got a lot to do in this episode. Yeah, the Pope is real disappointing. Yeah. Um, I've underlined get good hat here, so I would like that <laughs> to happen. Excuse me, I would like a nice hat, please. I need I need a better brain protection. Well, uh, let's see if we, what we can do about that. I'm not going to make any promises I can't fulfill. Make them. Um, first of all, we want to grab a quest real quick. Um, you want to enter the hut on the, your right there? It's across. Yeah, you're going to. Where I was am about I? To, Sorry, I forgot where I was. <laughs> I was about to say, if, if you walk over those cactuses, you will uh, take some damage. It won't kill you, but not unless you do it a lot. Um... Yeah, we want to enter that little hut, and you want to talk to that little, um, they look kind of like a centaur. centaur. Yeah, these are the hindrance. There's an oven here, hold on, hold oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more important. More important. Hot and spiny. I will. Delicious. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Ooh, heat resist. Look, 3% damage back to your tactics right I like that. It's a good one. Um, I didn't learn that though, did I? Did you I didn't. Learn? No, you just you're you're just eating it. That's just what's on hanging out at the oven. You can't um, you can't like Do learn to make fish? it unless yeah, you got some spine fruit jam. All right. Spine fruit uh grows on those cactus you've been walking over. So it also you did an auto explore on the zone and as a, uh, like I said your character will automatically do stuff like harvest fruit and butcher corpses and, and stuff punch through walls and punch through walls all right mm. so we want to talk to Luli Hart right there Luli Hart Hindrin Pariah hold a moment friend are you looking for work I guess I'm told I am you are always lovely take a seat chew the bark with me and I will tell you what I know I've heard tell that my ancestral hometown, Bela, is in some kind of trouble. They've opened their borders for the first time I know of and are specifically seeking to hire Kendrin. That's their word for outsiders like you. <gasps> That's me. I'm like me. You're like you. Would you be would you be willing to go see what they need? Who are you? No, uh Yeah. Very well, I will go to Pele as you ask. Bless you, friend. I feel better knowing that at least one Kendrin will reach back to aid my kin. They are on the cusp of a new fate, and I wish to see it while I yet live. Let me advise you of Pele's location, and here is a little chuboon for your trouble. I love the term chuboon. All right, some yonder cane. Pittles on the wind. I've added it to my journal. Petals on the Wind is one of my favorite quests in the game. So, I'm I'm looking forward to that, but we probably am not going to do that today. Um but yeah, let's uh let's let's peruse our stilt. Why is that guy flashing blue? They're sleeping. Oh, that's the that's the that's the animation <laughs> signifying that they are sleeping. Gotcha. What did you just say before that? Uh, we're gonna look through the stilt. Okay. So um, I I guess I started explaining last episode what a parasang is. Mm. So in the center parasang or in the center of this parasang is the church. So if we head, we want to head in the big circle that goes around the church. So we can go through like left or right. On this screen. And we're going to like explore every single tile that makes up this parasang because there's going to be tons of merchants and lots of little stalls and stores and they all have their own goods. You're probably just going to want to break that now because it's going to be flashing forever. <laughs> it will eventually stop, but it's just, it doesn't matter. They don't care. Okay, so we've got an Icker merchant on this screen. They sell uh, fun liquids. We have a chef. 
they sell ingredients for uh, making fun recipes. We've got um, a gutsmonger, very relevant Good. to you. I think that is Good. another Iker merchant. Let's check out oh, the Iker merchant. No. You're fine. We've got hey. an apothecarist. I've just freed all those cats. Oh yeah, you gotta pet all those cats. Boring. That's straight, I guess. What? Look at all that stuff. Look at all the stuff they've got. Now, here's a fun thing, uh, the still. You can spend a lot of time at the stilt, and it's valuable time spent. Um, we're gonna go look through his, uh, his bottles. You're gonna want to look at all of his engraved and painted glass. You can just, like, hit space and then look. Yeah. You don't have to, we don't have to read all of these. The important thing is that this is all free lore that we can get just by looking at their engraved uh, items. Anything painted and engraved is going to give us information and maybe actually like usable information as well. That was it. No, there's still uh, two engraved. Oh, engraved. Oh, engraved. Engraved. Oh, there's a third antidote. There is a third antidote. Solid. We learned of their death. Ah, number two. Number two. Battle of Quaver Antidote 2 fought as a mercenary to liberate newly sentient beings. He wielded a glacial axe with such deftness that it was forever known as the Glacial Paragon, the boon of new newly sentient beings. That's a really cool one. I like that. Glacial Paradon Paragon? What was it? Paradonk. Paradonk. The boon of newly sentient beings is like such a great Caves of Cud. Alright, let's let's leave this. This is good. See ya. We can check out the chef. And um we also definitely want to check out the gutsmonger. But uh, their stall is going to be a little bit disappointing in some ways, despite the fact that they are a really, really good merchant. Um, Who's the chef? The kipper? Yeah, the kipper. Don't go through walls. Okay. <laughs> okay. Quite a lot to take in here. Oh, they have a drop of nectar. Oh... Good stuff. I don't have 238. You don't know that. <laughs> uh, you can sell all your cured Donglider trail. That would get you quite a bit there. You can also sell your Yonder Cane, although I would love to show you what that does. Um, spine Fruit Jam is also worth quite a bit. Mm, I guess... Well, that, that gets us partially there. You can always get some more of it. See, we're already almost there. Better be a great drop of nectar. Uh, well, it could be amazing or it could be very disappointing. There's no in-between, unfortunately. I could there, always sell my wings. You could sell your wings. It's a thing that's making you the most Batman right now, so I, I would hate to do that. I think my attitudes... Uh, what really makes me Batman? Not not the fact that you can fly? Yeah. Batman oh. can't fly, he just jumps off stuff. He's got a glider. That's it, true. He does but you know what gliding a... isn't? What? Flying. He's got a bat wing. He literally has a plane. Yeah, I guess. Again, wings aren't planes. Anyway. All right. All right. We're, we're getting into semantics. Let's, uh, is there anything else we can sell? Let's go through our list. I, I assure you it's worth it. All right. Um... We haven't done any exploring, so we're, we don't have a lot to, to sell. Alright, we'll leave it for now. Dang shame. 
You can tell I pickled mushrooms. Eh, it's fine. Let's 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 continue exploring the still. We can there's, let's let's there's... let's make some let's make some money without exploding our head. You know. Yeah. All right, we're gonna want to head north. So you see that like salty kind of road on the ground that that leads yeah. you around the whole stilt. Well, the, hold on a second. What's up? Oh yeah, you want to check out the guts monger? Oh, the cat herder. You want to pet the cats? I have to pet the cats. Got to pet the cats. Oh, they're loose now. They are loose. The moose is loose. Well. One of them. Story. Oh my god. <laughs> Story. <laughs> Story, everyone. I wonder if the cat herder sells anything that makes you friends with cats. I don't know. That when, was the guy uh, I was just at, huh? Let's there's, talk a, there's a farmer in that pen. You can chat with them as well. Let's check out the gutsmonger, though, yeah. So, um, just based on his, like, tile, like, the, the art of him, what, what do you think he sells? Weird stuff. Very weird stuff. I mean, we don't know what any of this is. It's all alien to us right now. But, like, based on, on their tile and also, like, their name, what, 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 what would, you ha would you hazard a guess? Like... Butchery robots? I don't know. You're so close. You're actually like right on the money. Then that, the thing I said. Yeah, they sell cybernetics. Mm. Which we have one currently, because we are true kin. The cats are not for sale. Oh, they sell a floating glow sphere. That's quite nice. But we can't afford that at all. And also we'll find one for free somewhere, I'm sure. Could buy a new water skin. Could. Go for it. Yeah. At least I find more ink. Yep. Uh, throw, throw down some pickles. Uh, Pickle mushrooms. I just realized that the little jar actually does have a mushroom in it. That's cute. Never, never really stopped to look at it. Heck yeah. There we go. Two drams. Made a profit. Heck yeah. All right. All right. I like your cats, mister. But they don't like me. <laughs> Sorry, I punched your fence. Cats are loose. They're all over the place. Hello. Do you know what a do you know what a ray cat is like in real life? No. It's uh these are they're kind of like a clever joke. Um ray cats were like Away, I'm going to have to look this up because I always get this wrong. Give me... Oh, no. I'm going to have to edit that out. All right. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... Give me give me a moment of silence here. Yeah. My, uh, my chrome became visible for a split second there. This is great because I get to... Um, tell you what this is without uh stopping the gameplay yeah um no come on dude <laughs> no not ray cast ray cat no come on oh why are you like this?
Okay, so in the 1980s, writer Fancius Bathide, an expert in semiotics, an academic cousin of linguistics focused on how to convey meaning. Um, they were trying to figure out a way of um, communicating to the future that radioactive material is in fact dangerous. Does that make sense? You just learned how to make... Bur there you go. We we've learned how to cook burrowing claws. Oh, and plus two MA. That's a really good recipe. Where'd you find that? Uh, in this oven. Uh, if there was a way to find out how to make that, that is actually a really good recipe. Right on top of creep schnitzel and the fluffy petals. Um, the plus two MA actually does protect you from, uh, novice of the sightless way. So that is mm. actually giving you some protection. And then the burrowing claws, that's what I meant when I said that you can actually cook up a nano pneumatic jackhammer. The burrowing claws essentially function as uh, the jackhammer that lets you dig through walls. So it's a really oh. good recipe there. I don't know how to how we can find it. Anyway, um, long story short, uh, ray cats were a idea to uh, genetically modify cats so that they would glow. Um, in order to communicate deadly radiation. So it's a long way to get to, to a very short joke. Okay. Um, if you were to buy anything here, I'd actually recommend you grab that Hulk honey salve or a congealed Hulk honey. It's not very expensive. You can throw some uh, cured dong glider tail. Brewing you it is true. That's not the recipe that they were offering, right? That's not the uh, one in the end. It was like no. Naftali business. Yeah. Shucks. Uh you saying I should get this Hulk honey. Yeah. Definitely. I'll throw a couple of those. Heck yeah. All right. So are What's we on, book? uh, hmm? Sorry, it was a book. It was a book. It was a book. We're on our, are we on our corner parathang now? Corner or is this, parathang? Uh, I went up. You went up. So are we, I guess on, we're okay. We're on the east side. East side Mario's. Hey, bada boom. Bada bing. There you go. Um, I don't know. Uh, did we kind of explore this tile? Is there anything cool here? Goat herder, uh, chef. Goat herder, goat herder. Oh, a book binder. That's actually quite good. Not useful to us right now, but useful to us in the far future. It's good that uh, they're kind of a lot rarer than they should be. Or at least uh, they have been for me. They sell books. No, nothing mm. too, nothing too exciting here. Um, but uh, you know, it's like you know that you can trade books in for experience, right? Yes. So being able to buy books means we can effectively exchange our like water currency for actual experience. Lots of people to talk to. What you got? Not much. All right. Me. Anything else? Um. Well, head north. There's there's still a lot of stilt. <laughs> More stilt. More stilt. We're hoping that we can find a skim seller. Or skim drafter. Um, and we're hoping... There you go. You found your hatter. Oh, there is just a hat on the ground. It's a sign. Those, uh, those are signs outside their shop. Which I always find is really amusing. And we've got a pig herder. 
I don't think they'll sell anything interesting and I don't know if you can pet the pigs We've got a haberdasher Haberdasher is quite good. They tend to sell backpacks and stuff But yeah, we 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 won't want to fulfill this promise. We we know what we're after, you know Oh, hello piggies. We know what the people want and the people want hats. There's a free hat on the ground there actually You can take that one That's free. Well, I don't think that they'll mind you taking it. It might warn you We definitely don't want to upset it. They have a traipsing mortar as a <laughs> As a bodyguard Passed by a wide brimmed hat You can just hit the G button See if it'll let you take that. All right, never mind. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah, it, it, you can't just take a man's hat unless he's the Pope. <laughs> I don't think we can take the Pope's hat either. Okay, okay. All right, what do we got? What we've do got, we got here? We've got some really interesting hats. He's actually got some really nice ones. So. Um, let me kind of walk you through it. Um, Elastine Skullcap offers some good resistances, I think, to heat and cold and maybe even electricity. Um, the Electric uh, Snail Shell is a very nice hat that offers good AV and also reputation with mollusks. The Null Worm Skull is the one you want that will actually, I think, offer protection against uh, mental attacks. Let's have a look at that one. Oh, maybe not. Just the plus one ego, I guess. Might be the Witchwood Wreath that offers protection, like the MA bonus. I might be misremembering, but uh, let's have a quick look at that one. No, I guess not. I, I want to look this up now. Um, caves mm -hmm. of Cud Hat. Cold Resistance. Mental armor. This one to hit reputation with mollusks. Ah. Oh, this one makes me smarter. That it does. The square cap is quite nice. It's just a helmet. Okay, so there are a couple of hats. Or there's exactly one hat that will offer uh, MA. But it is obscenely rare and valuable. <laughs> um, good luck, basically. I well, just just to put it you in the picture here, I've never seen this item ever <laughs> in my 500-ish hours of playing this game. <clears throat> All right. Well, if I was going to make a recommendation, the electric snail shell is a really nice hat. Um, this one does cold resistance, though. It does do That's cold fun. resistance. This Square hurts my hit. Nice. Yeah, it does. Um, I don't think that that is all that bad. Hmm. What one looks the most like a cowl? Like bat the Batman. Like Pro the Batman. Probably the Crimson Hood. The Red Hood's a different Batman character. Come on. Come uh, on. Yeah, that's true. Uh, plus one to Ego. What does Ego do for me again? For you, not much. It offers you a small savings when you're buying items. Mm. I think the square cap is Ego and Intelligence, though. So if you want Ego, you may as well get the square cap. I don't know if the Witchwood bar, uh, Wreath does anything. I'm going to have a quick didn't, look. Didn't seem to do anything. Sometimes there's hidden things. No. Oh, you can harvest it into Witchwood Bark. That's it. <laughs> so that's interesting. I didn't actually know that. Uh, this helmet looks like good stats, though. It's um, the same as the electric snail shell, um, but with worse DV. That the negative three DV. Right, I mean, that's bad. 
I, I don't know. Like, I really like the mollusk reputation. Um, if you can get on good terms with mollusks, it's really, really nice. But All right. I'm not gonna. Well, it's it's definitely the least cowl one. I, you can go for the steel yeah. helmet. No, no, no. I don't like. I don't like the negative. You're right. You're right. Uh, we might already like. Let's let's exit for a moment. Like your DV might already be bad. Yeah, you're already at negative three DV. So another negative three DV doesn't make anything worse for you at all. Like it's the same. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like you, how, being less than zero doesn't really make a difference. Well, I can't afford it right away. I'd have to sell some stuff. I, I think you'd have enough if you threw all your cured Dawn Glider tails at it. Um, you probably want to. What if I get this skull cap, though? You could do that, yeah. It's nice. It is a nice hat. I mean, like, just aesthetically, I think the Elastine skull, skull cap is quite nice. It's made of a stretchy black fabric, so I feel like that's basically, the way to go. It's basically kind of like a, a toque. Yeah. Or uh, I don't know why, I'm, but listen, I'm ye I'm year one, but Batman. Okay, I don't have the ears yet. Yeah. It's just the black cap. That's right. All right. Okay, I'm getting this one. All right. I'm I'm excited for you. You got advice a cool hat. ignored. No, it's it's fine. I I do I do want you to make your own decisions. I I don't want to railroad you. And uh, um, here's the I fun can... thing about uh, the electric snail shell, is we can actually get our own. Without buying it, um, from harvesting a snail. There you go. We already have butchery, so it it makes it quite easy. What was it? What did the Crimson Hood do, by the way? Nothing, I don't think. No. Oh. Close fitting hood woven of crimson fabric. Yeah, nothing. Does nothing. Well, it offers one DV. That's what the Crimson Hood does. So it's like I I think the Crimson Hood is basically a starting hat. Like you can start the game with that. That. Nice. I've done it. We've actually completed a goal. Get you a hat. And we're not even done with the stilt yet. All right. Live and drink, my dude. <laughs> my dude. Uh, uh. 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 No. Nine? Armor. Oh. Mm. Can I just click on head and... Yeah, you actually already had a hat. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, but it's yucky. Yeah. I mean, you can uh, always clean it. Remove. This guy, not this even... This one's me. slightly better, all right? It is slightly better, yeah. Oh, hey, um, nah, never mind. Oh, you waste water? No, thank you. Uh, here, here's a fun thing. Um, if you want to clean all of your stuff at once, you can, it'll only cost you one dram. I don't okay. know if that makes a difference, but you want to do it from your water menu, not from this menu. Like, go to your inventory. Mm. Water. Can I wash it in honey and get sticky? You can actually, if you want to do that. Clean all your items. There you go. Believe it or not, that is actually a good thing to do. Um, maybe not with slime. Slime is whatever, doesn't matter. But like, there are some genuinely nasty liquids in the world that will hurt you if you don't clean them off. Look at it. 
Well, my boots are still bloody. They are still bloody and slimy, but that's because you're currently standing in the slime and blood that you cleaned off your equipment. Oh, oh, I left a mess in the hat man store. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to. Um, He's used to it. All right. Anything else? Let's here? uh, you know, let's let's, let's we, we're running out of time. There's cool stuff here, but we don't have any money, so we just wanna. I just wanna like do one more thing, which is um, we want to check out the other tiles of the stilt and see if we have a skim, a schematics drafter. That's like the most important thing. Um, that's a hookah shop. You can go smoke the hookah if you want. We have a Glover. Hold on, I gotta break some walls. Glover, uh, famously known for being uh, one of the best games on N64. Sure. Nah. Mm, gosh you, you, darn it. You broke a wall. It's fine. No one cares. Do I hate graffiti? No, no, you don't. No, nope, just walls. Your All right. your character, if like, if you want to not do that, like legitimately, um. Turn burrowing claws off. You see on the bottom there. Yeah, and now you should not do that. But I was doing that before I had burrowing claws. Then you might just want to unequip your jackhammer for uh, temporarily. I don't care that much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anything? Anyone here? No. Nah. I gotta. No. Nah, let's let's head west. We go west. Oh, west we go. Hello. West, west, west. Hello. West, west, west. Wake up. Why'd you leave your keys on the table? Ooh, that's quite the creature hanging around in the stilt. But they're all green, so this is fine. Yeah, no, um, these are all Mechanimus converts. So, like, there's a big old church in the center, right? Um, oh. People find themselves in the stilt, and they... Mm. Was, I wonder if that was it. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, you know, there's a bunch of people preaching here, the Mechanimus, uh, you know, religion. And so they get converted, and so you find a lot of creatures here, some of which are, like, truly devastatingly uh evil even but um they'll they'll be fine because they're all part of this religion you can't pet a pig piggy wiggy and it has nothing to trade sorry for breaking into your house all the little piggy wiggies playing in the dirt all right you got an icker icker's nice good to have a, a few a few ickers but no, we want to head south. There's nothing here. You, you're actually getting kind of shortchanged in the stilt. You got a book binder. That's like one box checked. That's one good thing. Um, you've got a haberdasher. That's kind of like a half box checked. It's okay. Um, you've got a ton of cider merchants, which is just whatever. Oh, but some Reshef information. Is that one we already had? Traveling near Bethesda Sousa, Recep lost control of his chariot and drove it off a cliff. Luckily, a local physician named Rebecca came to his rescue. Moved by her kindness, Recep enrolled us as her apprentice. You got some information about Rebecca. Rebecca is quite the uh, very lore-dense character in the world of Cud. You've got you've got an apiarist. You want to? Uh, I want. Let's take a, a very brief. Uh, diversion here and see that what the apiary sells because they've got something really fun. All right, hold on. There might be one more wall to break through. No, nah, you're good. Yeah, your character's now harvesting spine fruit. All right. Bees. You want it? Ugh, you and your bee agenda. No, listen. Listen, they've got something really fun. You'll love it. 
Look at that. They got a portable beehive. <laughs> portable beehive. You can wear it on your back and it generates honey over time. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yep. All right. Cool. <laughs> I don't, I can't afford that, but no, maybe. No, we're not buying it ever, but I just think it's like the most charming thing of all time. Just like imagine right. an adventurer roaming the desert and they got a little beehive on their back with bees swarming around. It'd be even better, be even better if it like had a, a like summonable bee swarm that you could use to distract your yeah, enemies. Weaponized, weaponized bees. Yeah, weaponized bees. Love that. All right, we still don't have a schematics drafter. I'm starting to worry. Starting to worry. Another beekeeper and another hookah shop. Neither of those are schematics. And another apothecary. Take that. <laughs> yeah, you break down that wall. Oh, God. Uh, I think you're screwed. This, this is our last tile. Well... Last episode, everyone. No, no, we did it. no schematic seller. That is this really game brutal. is unwinnable now. Um, I mean, there are uh, consistent schematic sellers in the world. One of them is, or actually, a couple of them are at Great Gate. So it's not like we don't have schematics schematic draft, drafters, but like the more of them that we have, the better, because then the better chance to get things that we need will occur. A herc hound and a mechanist convert. You pet them. They barked. Cute. I didn't know you could pet a herc hound. Oh, it's mean. All right. Good doggy. All right. Well, um, that's it for the stilt. That took a whole episode, but. It's worth doing. I was going to teach you how to um, throw down a an extra, like, location finder for specifically important... <gasps> Wait a minute! Oh, right there! You got one! Ew! You're right on the entry. We don't even have to do an extra journal slot. That's amazing. Let's go talk to them. They've got some good stuff. Lucky. Clutch. Clutch schematic seller. I mean, technically we found him last episode then. Did we? Well, oh. you you didn't notice, but I didn't I did notice. But we did auto technically zone find this them. whole area. Yeah. So they sell data disks, which we can learn from to create items. Um, they don't seem to have any. It's just a uh, like they'll renew their goods after a few days, um, but they will also sell modification uh, data disks that'll let us um, modify our goods. That's it, really. Um, oh. It is expensive, but uh, don't worry. Um, hopefully with a bit more like uh, successful ruin dives, we can get some good stuff to sell and make some money and buy some stuff we need. All right. Awesome. Do I want to save him or do I not care? Uh, what do you mean save? I don't know. You said important location. Oh, no. I was going to say like because it's in the starting tile it really doesn't matter but um if it was if he was in any other tile then i would uh, tell you or explain how to like add an entry into your journal and then you can um go straight to him when you enter this the stilt there's really nothing of like high importance in the stilt we can maybe make one for the book binder if you want yeah yeah same well you know what no well well Nah. Nah. All right. All right. Do you, uh, is there anything else we want to do real quick before I end the episode? Uh, ba, 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 ba. do I have? No. No. Do I have? No. No. Uh, no. I think, I think we're good then. We're good. Do you want to learn tinkering? I mean, I've, I've learned tinkering. You can learn uh, uh, Tinker One. Yeah, okay. 
I do have on my list Tinker. Tinker. Tinker distance, which I I mean I assume means get good at shoot. Distance. And then cook new jackhammer. Oh uh, yeah. Well, we actually crossed that off the list, sort of. Are okay. You, are you inspired? We can uh, we can learn a recipe. I, I do not believe I am inspired. Um. Okay. All right. So um. Those are we're gonna get to pick one of those to learn. Um, I think I don't know what gravity grenades do. If they sound appealing to you, go for it. I don't know if magnetized boots are any good at all. Um, acid let's gas try grenades the are thing you don't know. Yeah, let's try it. We know how to recharge now. Recharge what? Um, batteries. Oh, I like that. It costs you some tinkering bits, just so you know. But, um, yeah. So now, uh, let's, we can check out our tinkering menu. I actually don't know what button that is. I used to know, and then it left my brain. Might be T. Never mind. No, that's throw a weapon. Yeah, I should have known that. Yeah, I don't know. So let's just, like, um... Just hit like X or equipment or anything, and then we can just scroll to it. Hit like nine for inventory, and then you can like just keep going until you get to your tinkering menu. I used to know it, and it left my brain, unfortunately. There you go. Um. Oh, we didn't learn. We didn't learn how to make the thing. You you have the data disk in your inventory. You have to actually like manually learn it. Yeah, there it is. Learn. So it disappears. And uh, now you know it forever. Now we can go back. Oh. oh. What was... What did you... Oh. The fact that I have never looked at that it really speaks of my ability to completely miss very obvious helpful things. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So it'll it'll give you a little check mark to tell you that you've got all the bits. It's one of each. Okay. Go, ahead. go for it. Build. You did it. I've done it. You can do wow. it again. Okay. You can do it. Again. You'll get used to making a lot of these. And now I'm out of flawless crystals. You're slow. Out of, they're 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 quite rare actually well i mean they're not super rare but they're an expensive bit for a grenade um yeah. wow and you can uh equip them in your your throne slot okay doesn't say what it does though huh it doesn't. That's uh, kind of par for the course for Cud. All right. The only we'll All find right. out when we use it. So I'll equip it. Yeah, I would. I'm gonna guess that uh, they kind of bring a lot of like surrounding units to one point, so you can then like do an area of effect or something it's a uh, right. for throwing throwing items that we just learned that but um but i don't want to do it here you definitely don't know we'll use it in combat all right but hey we're we're done with the stilt we did it we'll definitely be hat. coming back here is there a is there somewhere i can get a a, a stilt Recoiler. Recoiler? Used to be the case. Not anymore, I don't think. I think they've actually been purged from the game. But why? <laughs> I know, right? Um, there are reprogrammable recoilers, but they are very difficult to obtain. All right. Well? All right. 
Um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Any closing thoughts? Yeah, just go to the places, do the things. That's do, it. Do them all. Do all the things. Find them. Find them. Do them. Wear a good hat today. Yeah, wear a good hat for me.